Hey everybody, this is Agard Man. I'm uh, doing a video on how to fix the mic on a Razer Black Shark headset. Uh, my particular version is the Razer Black Shark Battlefield 3 version, but uh, they're pretty much the same exact thing. They look e exact same. Uh, mine have mine has orange cord. Uh, the regular version has a green cord and uh, has a Battlefield 3 marking on the top. But other than that, they're going to be exactly the same. They cost the same amount of money. I think I was able to get mine. Mine was like a limited edition. So, at least I think it was. I got it for my birthday. So, you know. Anyways, there's an issue with the mic where it will... The mechanism that makes it rotate up and down ends up stops working. And it just drops down. And people were writing tons of horrible reviews about this particular issue and uh, I actually I'm kind of a tinkerer I, I like to mess with stuff and I'm like okay well Razer does a pretty good job with all of their products they take a lot of time to design things very well and so I was, I was trying to figure out why it kept doing this and I had it happen to me the mechanism that held this mic onto the side of the headset just fell apart and uh, oh, if, if those of you, for those of you who are watching and don't know, uh, the mic is removable. There's actually a little insert it's, uh, right here, and you put it inside, and that way you can just listen to music and not walk around with the mic popping out of the side of your head. And when you're out in public, you know. <coughs> Anyways, so I figured out what the problem was, and. I figured why not post a video to YouTube to tell you guys about how to fix it. So, uh, unfortunately, I don't have an extra mic in order to record how to do this process. And so what I'm going to end up doing is switching to my phone. I have a Nokia Lumia 900. It shoots 720p video and 30fps, which is perfect. Um, I could care less about 1080p on a phone. Um, so I'll switch to that and look amazing. I'll merge both these videos together and uh, you'll be able to watch me and how I fi figured out how to fix the problem. It's really easy. I, I ended up I end up fixing the problem maybe once every two weeks because you know after extensive lifting up and down with this mic, the mechanism inside does get loose because it's not one of those fixed mechanisms. It's one that you can actually tailor and uh, customize I guess you could say my my Mac is actually quite firm right now it's not really gonna move around very much unless I move around myself so other than that I mean let's, let's get to it <coughs> all right so here's another view of the mic here it's attached to the side of my uh, headphones here let's take it off okay now, the issue, and I'm assuming it's the same for everybody, is that this metal bar that's being held together by this plastic piece and this plastic piece comes apart, if it completely falls apart, or it gets loose, in which case you take off this cap right here, and you look inside, and there's these little prongs right here. There's four of them, they hold the cap in place. This was actually glued in, but it was not solidly glued in, so it was, it was easy to pry this off, and that's where I found where the problem was. Anyways, there's this little O-ring in here, a little washer, it's threaded. It's uh, holding on to the threading that is on the end of this mic jack right here. And anyways, here, let me see here. Now, the interesting thing is that I found out that this little O-ring right here, there we go, it focused, gets loose. And see these little grooves right here? You stick your finger inside the little groove right there. Stick your little fingernail in there and you tighten it. And it fixes the problem, tightens it up. 
this is the part that rotates right here. There's actually a little piece of, I don't know if it's like some sort of hard foam or something in between this plastic piece and this plastic piece. And that's what gives you that resistance as you're moving it. And every time you do that, it turns the little uh, threaded part that's attached to this mic jack right here, and then it turns the washer and it gets loose. Now, I think it's a pretty ingenious design in my case. I, I think it's a pretty solid design myself. Solid meaning that it's not really going to like break on me versus, you know, a plastic piece from a different headset snapping off of the headset itself. Um, I actually had a pair of Philips headphones. Really nice uh, sound canceling Philips headphones that I dropped on my padded flooring from about a foot high and it snapped the ear cup off so I like to see as much metal as I possibly can inside my headsets which is partially why I bought this headset in the first place but and no I didn't get I didn't buy it I got it for my birthday but anyways so that's how you fix the problem if the mechanism just gets loose in which case it drops down like this and then also this part gets loose as well um, but I've also heard of people having issues where the entire mechanism falls apart. So I'm going to break it apart on purpose just to show everybody exactly what happens when this falls apart. Okay, so I just broke it apart. This is probably exactly what it looked like for you guys when it fell apart and you're like, oh shit, what do I do? So. You've got mic jack right here. See, look, it's threaded right there. And then it's got a flat part here on this side, flat part on that side. The flat part actually goes right through here. So you just turn it. No, first you gotta turn it through here. So put it through there. And here's that little hard piece of foam that I was talking about right here. It's like, well, it's not really that hard actually. It's a little bit squishy still hard staying in place which is good um, so you put this around the top like so and then there's a little depression where there's a little peg that goes in that hole and then this is a peg that goes up and I don't know if you can tell but this one has a hole right here where this peg goes and then it's got peg right there and goes in that hole. So you have to make sure that this part and this part are separate from each other and it has this metal bar in between them otherwise you can't fix it. So you know this no no don't put it through there. Let me put it back. Anyways after that the metal part into the long grooves right here like so and then match up the pegs with the holes like so and then here comes the tricky part you have to hold this together as you take this little clamp here which holds the cap in place so even though I took off the cap and it was actually glued on this clamp here is actually used to well, it's actually used as a buffer in between the plastic piece and the metal washer here and it also serves as a clamp to hold the cap onto place because it kinda goes like that and it holds onto the outside of the cap so the trickiest part for me when I first tried this out was putting this entire thing together making sure that the threading was sticking through the top here while simultaneously putting this little clamp on and getting this to come down making the threading align with my fingers and tightening it back up. So obviously you want to try to make sure that if you ever have this happen to yourself 
that you tighten this every now and again instead of letting the entire mechanism fall apart because I can tell you right now I did a test video a little while ago doing this and it went together quite nicely I was able to screw it on pretty easily this time no not happening too well so oh, there we go just came on so anyways take your fingernail get it inside there best you can without bending the prongs that the little clamp here that holds the cap in place and you turn it around until you get your desired amount of resistance when you turn these and then after that you just say a prayer and hope that it's not too tight actually yeah, it is too tight in here or that way and it'll last you on average if you use your headset every night and you make your headset go up and down once a night so to speak I think that it'll last you probably a good I want to say three weeks I think that's my average and then I open this up and I tighten it a tiny bit and it's much easier to do that way so there's that <clears throat> and uh, you just pop it back in place doing this with one hand here there we go and we have a fixed razor black shark headset with its mic um, that's pretty much it. Um, like and subscribe my video to my videos and uh, make some comments. Tell me what I did right and what I did wrong with this video. This is my first how-to video. I'm going to try and do some review videos as well. But anyways, just give me some constructive criticism, please. Not, you know, over the top. Uh, I would not appreciate that. But anyways, hopefully this helps you guys out. Um, I know it did with me. I tinkered with it with it a little bit, and I was happy to find out that the issue that a lot of people write about is actually quite resolvable. So this really doesn't bother me that much to tighten it up a little bit. It does when it, the whole entire thing falls apart. It's a pain in the butt. <clears throat> but this is a nice headset. I know it's not going to break. Air quotes. Um, and so... I'm quite happy with it. Anyways, talk to you guys later. Bye.